70% of top Hollywood stars have had some form of cosmetic surgery. That, according to a man who should know, because he's operated on a lot of them himself. Dr. Garth Fisher is famous for making celebrities look good and for fixing their faces when someone else botches the job. He's even been called on, in the case of Tyra Banks, to testify that, yes, those breasts are the work of a higher power than man. Juju Chang paid him a visit. Everywhere you look, it appears more than ever, Hollywood has gone plastic. From the young to the old, the new do's, the redo's, and the extreme. The admissions and the downright shockers. It's plastered all over reality TV, from Dancing with the Stars to the Hills. I got a slight eyebrow lift to the Kardashians. No, shut up. Across the country, nearly 10 million cosmetic procedures were performed last year. 300,000 breast enhancements, nearly 300,000 liposuctions, and 2.5 million Botox injections. If plastic surgery has a pecking order, Dr. Garth Fisher of Beverly Hills tops the A-list. His roster of high-wattage celebrities is endless. Brooke Burke is his ex-wife, but he's Hollywood's Dr. Fix-It. He's fixed Lisa Rinna's lips, Bruce Jenner's facelift, boosted Courtney's and Kendra's breasts. He's there to help all these megastars sculpt their look. What percentage of A-list Hollywood has had some work done? Probably 70%. They're all taking out their plastic for plastic. And it seems the key to survival in this cutthroat industry is to scalpel your way through. I've heard the metaphor that you're sort of the Michelangelo of plastic surgeons, and that the face is really your canvas. But what makes you the go-to surgeon in Hollywood? I'm a perfectionist, and I translate it with my hands. I, I appreciate beauty. I know what looks good and what, what doesn't. And um, I'll stand there till the end making it work. And it was lowered down here. Dr. Fisher is known around Tinseltown as a breast man. His special technique for natural-looking cleavage avoids the fake circular look in favor of the teardrop. There's a bodacious list of celebrities walking around with Fisher breasts. Kendra, Holly Madison, Kourtney Kardashian, Jenna Jameson, Katie Price, to name a few, all publicly boasting his handiwork. Really Garth Fisher next to meet you. And it doesn't stop there. Kendra even put him on her reality show. Okay, what size bra do you wear now? Not even an A. And so did Holly size Madison. Size. If he can bring in three naked pictures and show me this is too big, this is too small. Okay. Tyra Banks even asked his <coughs> expertise, a live exam to prove she hadn't gone under his or anyone else's knife. Tyra Banks has natural breasts. There's no implants. <laughs> and on the Kardashians, he's performed a few nips and tucks on the family, but his most notable work was done not on the sisters, but on their stepdad, Bruce Jenner. The part of your face that was pulled, mm -hmm. um, that's stayed, you know, pulled. But the rest of it is kind of falling around it. And I think this looks older than it looks because this looks a little bit younger. A facelift so gone wrong and a bad plastic neck, surgeon is what led him to Fisher. The, the former Olympic gold medalist got a redo. The fixes account for approximately 40% of his work. You know, like some, so many people just kind of make a you know, bad choice maybe earlier and wish they hadn't done it. The problem was maybe having surgery too early and maybe too aggressive of a surgery and there wasn't a lot of balance in, in the work. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. Heidi Montag became the modern poster girl for the addictive nature of plastic surgery after undergoing 10 procedures all at once. Here's a girl that, you know, for me, she looked great before the surgery and, you know, if she came into my office, I, you know, I, I'd hate to even second guess what happened there, but I probably wouldn't have offered those things to her. How often do you tell a girl like Heidi Montag, you know, honey, don't do it? Oh, we turn down patients all the time. Probably 40% of the people that walk in here are... 40%? Yeah, we turn down a lot of patients. Yeah, stars are used to getting what they want, and, uh, you know, it puts a tremendous amount of pressure on, I think, the plastic surgeons. They come in your office, and, you know, here's somebody that you've idolized all your life, and they're telling you what they want to do, and you're like, can I get your autograph? And you really have to be the good doctor and protect them, and no matter who they are, think about, you know, the medical side of this. Heidi sat down with Cynthia McFadden for the first time about her regrets. She has a few. No, I do not feel like I was prepared enough for this. Maybe I should have known, but how can you know when your doctor's saying, it's just a little this, it's just a little that. You know, it's, it really becomes a lot. I think that doctors should really 
walk you through all aspects of it, not just the glamorous side of it. Doctors, it's like they're selling you cookies or something. The 24-year-old reality show starlet says it's not all that it's cut out to be. Surgery is not glamorous. I would say plastic surgery is anything but glamorous. It's really hard and then it becomes a burden because you feel like you need to keep up with it and you don't. If I could take it back, I would. And Heidi is far from alone in her regrets. Take Jennifer Gray. She's publicly said that her nose job almost cost her her career. Shake, 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 shake. And though she's the new it girl as tonight's winner of Dancing with the Stars, the girl from Dirty Dancing disappeared after her nose job drastically changed her face. Dr. Fisher has plenty of headline grabbing celebrity redos. Take Lisa Rinna, once infamous for her over silicone lips. She described like almost like pebbles in her right, lips. Right, right. There was a lot of silicone being injected in the lips back in the 80s. It's really not a legal thing to do now. I think a lot was injected and over time. It kind of migrates and drifts and starts distortion. Hi, nice to see you. Good to see you. That distortion over the years was so noticeable, it finally brought Lisa to Dr. Fisher. Open up a little bit. Looks like it's all healing pretty good. In yeah. this recently aired episode of her new reality show. If you look at her lips and they're just distracting and, you know, and I, I talked to her one day, I said, you know, we can make that a little bit better for you and I think you'll feel more comfortable and, you know, it was great how it turned out for her and now you don't look at her eyes and you look at your lips, you just look at her eyes and I think that was what we wanted to accomplish. Rock star Pete Burns claims he nearly died when all the botched silicone in his lips got terribly infected. British singer won international fame with the 80s hit You Spin Me Right Round. I woke up after doing a song with the Scissor Sisters and my lip was at least 18 inches away from my face, the lower lip. It was like this big, just swollen, like a ubangi. But when you wake up and your Adam's apple has come out here further than your jaw and one side of your face is so swollen you can't open your eye and there's yellow discharge, not just leaking, squirting with a hiss, it would squirt from my face. It was like one of the worst science fiction or horror movies you could ever see. But despite these horror stories and the regrets, the demand for plastic surgery is higher than ever. But Dr. Garth says he believes when it comes to cosmetic procedures, less is more. I like the happy endings and helping them and them coming back and saying, God, you changed my life and I'm really happy and I, I strive for that. And the quality of his results, he says, keeps the stars in his orbit. I'm Juju Chang for Nightline in Beverly.